Hello again, also from my side. Uh, my name is Michael Lippert. I'm working for the product and market management for motion controls at uh, Bosch Rexroth. And even if it's late today, I want to tell you hopefully some interesting things about connected automation with OPC UA at uh, Bosch Rexroth. So I want to start my presentation with some basic information. Then I will show you some interesting products from us that use OPC UA communication. And finally, I will show you our Industry 4.0 showcase that won the Automation Award in 2016, where we put in all the products that I've shown before. So here you can see um, the Automation Pyramid with our different products and the supported OPC UA functionality. As you can see on the number of products we, we have here, OPC UA is for us a very important protocol on the way to uh, Industry 4.0. We use OPC UA normally for vertical or horizontal communication. So, for example, if you want to communicate from MES system to our control, you can use maybe the OPC UA server functionality on it. And if you want to have a direct machine-to-machine -machine and horizontal control, we support um, OPC server and as well OPC client, so it is possible to communicate directly between the controls. Then here, a picture I think we have often seen it during the, the whole day. It shows uh, how is OPC UA specified and how the information models look. So, on the ground, we have the OPC UA space services. Here you can find searching, reading, writing, and stuff like this. Then we have the OPC UA space information models. These are specified uh, by OPC UA. Here you can find data access, alarm and conditions, historical access, and programs. On top of, top of it, you see these information model specifications. Here we have, you can find the technology technology specific information models a good example for this uh, so-called companion specification is a, a PLC open specification and on top of it I think here we have a huge amount of information models are the Rexroth specific information models these are derived from the base model and we support here models for axes for robots for parameters for motion for diagnostic and we also offer our internal logbook in a OPC UA compliant version. And the reason why we can support this wide range of uh, record specific information models is uh, the kind how we implemented OPC UA. Here you can see that normally OPC UA has access to the PLC interface. This is how it is normally done. In our case, we have via OPC UA also access to our so-called open core interface. And with this open core interface, we, are, we have direct access to our control kernel and can offer all the data that is within our control kernel without any programming in the PLC. So this enables us to connect the automation and the IT world in a much smarter way than before. How this work? I will show you now in a short example. So here you can see how in communication from an HMI via OPC UA to the sensor actor level normally is done. So the HMI with OPC UA has access to the PLC variables. The PLC has to provide the data. So the PLC is working as an interface between the sensor and actor level. So every variable you want to see, you have to program in the PLC, and the PLC has to provide it. In our solution, where we use uh, OPC UA and our open core interface, we have directly via OPC UA access to the actor sensor level of the machine. So the PLC is not necessary to provide the data. So all the data that ha we have inside our control about the sensors, actors, is immediately available without changing any line of PLC code.
So after this uh, short introduction to OPC UA, I want to start with our first product. The first product that I want to show you is our web connector. The web connector is uh, working as a process data gateway between the web world and the automation world. So we use uh, for the data exchange between the web client and the web connector, we use web sockets. And for the communication between the web connector and the automation world, we use uh, our open core interface. We also provide within this web connector an integrated web server that allows you to create your own web-based HTML5 pages, to put it here and to display it on any device that you want. So you simply have to open the browser and the browser will get the web pages and you can display it. So this web connector runs completely platform independent on all devices that, uh, where a Java virtual machine can run. So it can run on Linux system, it can run on Windows system, it can run on Raspbian system, it can run everywhere. And the configuration of this web connector is very easy. We deliver with it a web interface where you can do all the configuration for it. So you can get the web connector and uh, the Java virtual machine when you follow this link. So you can download the trial version and you can test it for uh, two hours. And if the two hours are gone, you have a similar, like a colleague before told, uh, you have to restart it again and then you will get again two hours for testing it. And this can be done as often as you want. The next exciting product that I want to show you is, is our IoT gateway. So the IoT gateway allows a, sim a simple data exchange between new or existing production machines and the IT applications. So the, IT, the IoT gateway is made to connect brownfield or OEM machines to the IT world. It also can be run on different hardware platform. You can have it uh, PC-based, you can have it controller-based. So the decision which hardware you will take is completely based on the task that you have. So it can completely run in a parallel operation to the machine control with and without any influence in it. And uh, for sure, also here, the configuration and management is done uh, web-based. If we have a deeper look to the IoT software, we see that we have three different um, sections of the apps. The first one are the device apps. Here you get access to your machine data. For example, here you configure your sensors and stuff like this. The next one are the internal apps. Here you can play with your machine data. Example, you can do mathematical calculations, you can show it by dashboards and stuff like this. And the last one are the processing apps. Here you can send the data to your preferred IT systems. So we provide a lot of these apps when we deliver it, but uh, with a software development kit that is also available for this product, it is also possible that you do your own apps, put it on it and create there a cutting edge advance for your company. If you follow here the link, you can get more information about it. So before uh, we come to our Industry 4.0 showcase, I wanna make a short summary about the points that I told you until now. So we at Bosch Rexroth offer one of the largest OPC information models that you can find in the automation world. We support uh, our customers not only OPC UA server, we support OPC also OPC UI client that allows you a direct machine-to-machine uh, -machine communication. All the information that are accessible with our open core interface is available now in OPC UA. And for sure, if we will extend our open core interface, we will also provide this data and extend it continuously. Beside OPC UA, we offer our customers 
with our open core interface to go one layer deeper than it's possible until now. So it is possible to, to do real-time extensions directly on our control. So you can be like a developer. You will get our development environment and you can put your own developments directly on our control kernel. Then you can do model-based engineering, simulation, high-level programming, and many, many more without any breaks in the cost in the We offer our web connector, which helps you to create modern browser-based visualizations. And last but not least, I showed you the IoT gateway. That is a perfect possibility to enable for new and old machines uh, connectivity. And all the things that we used and that I showed you are built in our uh, Industry 4.0 showcase. So in this showcase we have uh, three automatic stations, one uh, manual workplace and one uh, inspection station. And with this showcase we are able to play with all the Industry 4.0 topics. So we can show various integration of robots, we can uh, have data mining and data analytics, we do a simulation, so you can see it here, we have remote services, we add in our intelligent working place our active assistant, and uh, we use our active cockpit to generate dashboards, dashboards to display the data. Also here, I add a link where you can find many, many more information about this showcase. Okay, now I'm uh, on the end. Thank you very much for your attention. Have you uh, any questions? Questions? We have still time. <laughs> And uh, how do you see the post Rexroth uh, PLCs compared to, to Beckhoff? You have a little bit uh, different architecture in, in there, uh, but you are a kind of similar uh, type of company in, in the sense that uh, you're not kind of in a Siemens level, but you are in a, in a small scale. Uh, yeah, I think, I think uh, normally it's, uh, it's really quite uh, similar what we offer to our customers. But I think uh, with, uh, with this open core interface and the wide range of uh, these uh, Bosch Rexroth specific models, we can maybe create a small advantage against our competitors because uh, you can use um, all this data without, without a programming effort inside the PLC. And if you see later on that you need more information, it's still available and you don't have to program it later on. Yeah. We also implement the uh uh, function blocks for OPC UA client. Yeah. Yes. The client yes. Yes. Function yes. blocks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank so you. thank you very much for your attention and uh, have a nice evening. And apologies for everyone uh, that we are delayed. <laughs>